Hello there, YouTube. Uh, this one's longer than usual. Uh, I tried to explore the open area of uh, of the. Uh, I think it's Nessus. I could be wrong, but it's right bef before you actually start the inverted spire strike. Uh, me and my friend here tried seeing how far we can go the barriers of what the beta would allow us to get to. Uh, right here I was trying to see what they showed in, um, I can't remember what it was, but somewhere in IGN first where you can open up a world map and I just kept popping up the ghost in the little roster. But yeah, me and my friend here, we just tried going through all the, I guess as far as we could go. Now just testing out this subclass at the time. This was, this was uh, actually before I started playing the Titan and the Hunter. I was born whatever I could on the Warlock because that's my favorite uh, class to play as. But it might be quiet in between spaces. I'd probably just pipe in at certain areas where I remembered we were trying to do something. up in here I was trying to find a, anything caves extra alleyways whatever it was Oh uh, yeah, this is where my buddy, uh, he thought uh, he saw a hunter, but it was a fallen. He started questioning, like, can fallens be hunters? Because he had the hoodie and the cape. I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to... Missed this beta for about a month and a half. I mean, it's good that it's gone. Uh, we would have burnt ourselves out before the full game. Probably ruined it for ourselves. Another. This is that part where I'm talking about, like, I feel like the, uh, I said mantle, but I, I meant clamber. Or the both same thing. It doesn't fucking matter, but... It, never, it's, it would work for me very rarely. I thought it was something where you have to press uh, the jump button twice when you reach the edge, but it didn't seem to work out for me. I, don't know, I have to uh, I guess wait for the full game to figure out the mechanic on it. My buddy told me he found camp somewhere. Or someone, an NPC might have made a camp. But this one's gonna be not too much action going on here. Like I said, we're just trying to explore everything in here. One thing I'll give Bungie, they always got some beautiful backdrops. I think they got the best skybox in the business as well. And that's not me being biased, that's, that's almost like a fact there.
I'm kind of glad that the Warlock has the Icarus Dash, even though it was the Twilight Garrison Evade Dash in Destiny 1. That's one thing that uh, I felt like the Warlocks didn't have an advantage on as far as the uh, Titans and the uh, Hunters. My buddy was trying to figure out what type of dance that was. He's going to be waving here quite a bit because he's trying to figure out what type of race he is. I don't know why he didn't look in the beginning of the menu when you choose a thing. But yeah, the, the Icarus stash, like, uh, I don't know, the, the Warlock just seems like the jack of all trades, in my opinion, in Destiny 2. Uh, but I, I kind of like that in a way, it gives me more options. I'm also kind of curious how uh, how you bring your character over. I know it doesn't really make a fucking difference. It's you might as well start over because you lose everything, anyways. But I'm still curious, even knowing that. Like I, I want to know how that is because I, I liked how my awoken character looked. I had a male awoken character with shaved head. Just like my bald ass. Maybe something very small and tiny, but still kind of curious. Oh, this is where he wanted to do a, a dance on, yeah, to get in sync with each other. I think any of y'all are gonna miss Destiny 1. I wanna go back to it when Destiny 2 comes out. I, mean, I've, I might. I mean, yeah, realistically, I will eventually. But I started playing Destiny 1 again uh, after the beta left on Destiny 2. And, I mean, it, it, it's fun. I, I'm enjoying it, but. I just, I'm missing Destiny 2. Something about the meta of Destiny 2 PvP just reminds me more of Halo uh, than uh, Destiny 1 does. And that, that's a good thing in my eyes. I'm a huge, huge Halo fan, so that's a plus for me. But I'm noticing, <laughs> I don't know if, if, if I'm just wanting to see Halo things or if it's a... Uh, I'm actually seeing Halo things. Oh, yeah, we we saw these pikes and we just wanted to grab them. It reminded me of the Destiny One beta when we first saw old pikes. We we're like, oh man, something else besides sparrows. Uh, but back to the subject, like, does it? Do any of y'all notice that the uh, the Titan ship for the loading screen looks like the Pelican? And the, the warlock kind of has a phantom dropship look. I don't know. I just, it just maybe it's just me wanting to see more Halo. I, I don't know. But there's a few other things like uh, the B, the I'm gonna say the PR, but the pulse rifle seems more like the BR in here. Uh, SMGs are in here like they were introduced in Halo 2. Uh, the rocket launcher looks like the rocket launcher from Halo 5, but then again, I mean, this looks like a regular rocket launcher. I don't know, just, it's probably more to come to my mind. I, I know there is, but it's just not coming to me right now. I just wanted to or more of these open zones. I know, I know there's more to Nessus than this. And if anyone thinks that this is the actual uh, open zone for the full game, y'all are mistaken, y'all are fools. It's, no, this is just the beta. 
People need to relax with their reviewing Destiny 2 already. Judging it from the beta, no. It's... It's not the full game, okay? Chill out, guys. But playing this beta made me want to see more of Nessus. Uh, the European Dead Zone, Titan, and I think it's Io's the other one. But yeah, when I explored the, the farm, like, even though I, I saw everything in the farm, as far as the boundaries go, I just, I feel like I'm gonna love going to that social area more than any social area in Destiny 1. I'm about farms, man. I, I love them. Very peaceful. Yeah, this is where I start getting into firefight here. My buddy left me. I can't remember how many times I died here. It's either seven or eight. I don't know what the hell my buddy's doing right now. Probably exploring the other side of this. Was that two right there? I think it was. I'm gonna keep count here. Every time I, I die, I'm gonna keep count. So far, that's two. a little bit more too. I hope they just don't go by this and we don't hear nothing else until the game release. I doubt it. I mean, I'm pretty sure they'll release more, but I just, I'm excited for more stuff. And I, I kind of hope that there's, uh, for PvP, I hope there's a, a vehicle based style of gameplay. One of my biggest things I love about Halo is uh, Big Team Battle. I just love the shit out of Big Team Battle, man. It's just, it. That's, that's the sandbox of multiplayer, man. It's fucking awesome. There's nothing better than that, in my opinion. I, I don't know. They said every mode was 4v4. I don't think you can have a 4v4 vehicle map. Look, there's three. I just, I don't know, it, it doesn't make sense with four. Could it happen? Maybe. Uh, but I, I hope that they're kind of lying that every single mode is 4v4. And I hope Trials of Osiris isn't 4v4. It was 3v3. It was three three. I hope it stays 3v3. Uh, three three. I said 3v4. Three three. <laughs> Halo fan! There's four. But I remember the, the very first gameplay trailer when they showed that, that tank in the story mission. That, that right there just made me so optimistic with high hopes that uh, we're going to get a vehicle based. Yeah, there's five. A vehicle based uh, multiplayer game mode in uh, Destiny. And God, I hope there is, man. I really do. Th that will just make Destiny so much more better. Uh, Destiny 2, should I say, so much more better. Because Destiny 1 just had, like, those three. And I thought they were going to make more uh, big maps. Like, every time they released uh, uh, an expansion. But when I noticed that the Taken King didn't have one, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> We could have had five big maps, but they only gave us three. It was that one, uh, Sky Shock, when it released with... I think it was Dark Below. It might have been Dark Below House of Wolves. I can't remember. There's six. And 
And I know, I think most of y'all, or maybe half of y'all, think that Destiny doesn't need big maps and it's not meant for that. And you are kinda right, but I still want my big maps, man. They're just fun. They really are. Uh, I loved uh, Bastion, Bastion, and uh, First Light. Those are two good maps. But, I mean, hopefully we get big maps in here, because Halo 1 only, well, for console, only had two big maps, which was Blood Gold and Sidewinder. And then whenever Halo 2 came out, I can't really name them off bat. They had Coagulation, which is a remake of Blood Gulch. Uh, Jesus, I'm on the spot. I ain't going to be able to think of them. Uh, no, not coming to mind. I'd have to look, go. Oh, yeah. Now my friend decided to show up. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. So I decided to test on my rod. I should have used it during the firefight. Probably would save me a few times. Not with these skills. Look at that. Whoa, whoa, hell of a miss. I like the way this rocket launcher looks more than the Destiny 1 rocket launchers. Destiny 1 just seemed too... I don't know, too... Exaggerated for me. Seemed bulky for no, re no reason. Oh, yeah, we good. This is the first time I test out that milky water. friend said he made it to the other side. I was just testing how long it would take to kill me. I was hoping there were more little islands for me to jump onto because I lost my pike. And he grabbed the last one because he blew up the second one we got. I shot at him because he was calling me a fucking loser because I couldn't go any further than him. But that's just it. It looks pretty good, man. I love the color palette they have with the white and then the deserted look with the vivid red popping out. And then that aqua looking sky. Pretty cool looking. Reminds me of uh, that map in Star Trek Into the Darkness, the very beginning, where Spock went to go stop the volcano from erupting. Controller died. Had to switch out to the next one. Yeah, guys, don't don't ever get the energizer uh, charge and plug and play for Xbox One. I don't know about for PlayStation. Pretty sure it's the same thing. But they're shit. They're fucking worthless. They piss me off every time. Get like maybe an hour charge and that's it. Coming up to the end of the video here. Uh, uh, and at seven. All right, guys. I'll talk to y'all later.